Welcome to Stratford Paddock. This is Off The Bar. That is Jay, that is Stephen, that is Adam. And we've got, well, loads to talk about today, haven't we, no, lads? No need to shout. Well, what else am I going to do? Why are you so enthusiastic? Because it's, it's, a, it's a happy time. You know, I don't play and I can't be hurt. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> what else do you want? It's yeah. like, Did I mean, you say it's Off The Bar, sponsored by Green King? Off The Bar brought to you by Green King Sport, of course. Thank you very much. We're going to be talking about loads of stuff today. People wanting Jose and Mourinho back, we can take the piss out of them in a little bit. But before that, there's been a big article in the last sort of I'll 24 be. hours. Uh, well, depend, you know, in terms of words written, a few thousand, that's pretty big, um, about the details Wasn't of- Wasn't in the MEN then. United <laughs> Takeover. <laughs> well, no, they, I think they, they quote the other one. No, um, they just frame it right, a tweet and say, here's what someone else said. Go on, what? Um, was it a small athletic article? It was a small, by their standards, <laughs> yeah. athletic article, like and, and large athletic. by everyone else's <laughs> standards. Um, about the details of Jim Ratcliffe's <clears throat> bid for United, and, t and you know, obviously the, the success of that. But m almost more importantly, the sort of bizarre, sort of trickery slash difference between reality and PR of the Qatari bid. Like the rumor is that the bid was never anywhere near really what they said it was that they never show proof of funds in a way that sort of satisfied the kind of official means of doing that and that um, they never really upped their bids from those initial bid. And That's a bit mad considering it's a literal country. Yeah, well, have you seen? Have you seen this? What have you? What do you make of this? I can read some of the the details. So, Ben Jacobs has been talking about it a lot because he's sort of been part of that deal. I think he's got good contacts within the Qatari side. And last night he was talking about some of the updates from them, where they basically have come out again and gone, "No, not true." But he said uh, that Qatar consistently failed to provide customary finance uh, financing commitment letters throughout, and there's no mention of pledged investment, which we'd all, you know, rumor was that they were going to put in an extra, you know, X billion. Uh, several sources close to the sale had repeatedly said that the reality of Qatar's bid did not match the PR. Um, then it says that Qatar maintained that their final bid was just short of $6 billion with $1.7 billion additional investment and this was specifi specified in written form. They add that Jassim was willing to go higher but pulled out because he believed that he was being played or fleeced. The SEC filing numbers and narrative. So the SEC filing which is m much closer to like the genuine paperwork that has been back and forth here. Con strongly contradict this as previously outlined. Those close to the sale insist that if the numbers were accurate, they would have gladly accepted the Qatar offer. Does this surprise you? And if it doesn't, why doesn't it? And, and d did you see this coming at the time? Because the PR around Qatar was so strong. Mm. Like, it was, it was almost overwhelming when we were doing videos talking about well, it. Well, there was, was, there was leaks coming from somewhere, and I don't know where those leaks were originating from, but there was obviously someone had someone's ear because the things were leaking out all the time, weren't they? Yeah. Which, by the sounds of this article, were incorrect or, or fluffed up, yeah. uh, I think it's say the least. Am I surprised? Yeah, because I, I like to take things roughly at face value if I can, especially when you think it's coming from an official source. Like, I saw loads of people saying, oh, you was fucking getting on side with the guitar, but in the end, I wasn't. I said there was probably an air of even in inevitability about it. Like, well, I don't exactly like this, but I'm probably gonna have to live with this because it did at one point look like it was fucking done. Yeah. I mean, Rio stood outside a train station telling us it was done at one did point. Did we, ever get, did we ever get to the bottom of that? I've never got to the bottom of that. How much did Rio get for that? How much did Rio get for that? If they didn't I mean, have the dough for that, that, did they have the dough for actual PR for well, anyone? Maybe they yeah. spent it all on PR. Maybe so, yeah. that's where the billion quid went. That was so mad. I don't, is I Sheikh Jassim real or is he AI? No one knows. There's only four images of him, isn't yeah. there? So it could just be some bloke. He's an AI geezer, isn't it? <laughs> well, we joked about that for a while, didn't yeah. we? And then, like, two more photos emerged. Yeah. Put in the total at, like you said, four. Yeah. <laughs> so. The, the clue was in who was running these stories, though. I mean, Custis went massive on it. Next week, it's, that's when I knew it was happening. Yeah. <laughs> like, genuinely. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought, if they're going to tell him, you're not going to tell him. It was I mean? weird that one, because be again, he, he, you know, the son obviously, fully came out and said, it is happening, <laughs> yeah. and it is happening Two or three week. times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like next Tuesday. It's but like, not like we're hearing, it was like, it's done, yeah. it's Qatar. And obviously, Rio must have heard something similar, because he was saying, like you said, it's happening. And he said, in the, in the in a matter of hours, or in the next few hours, <laughs> I remember the, the word hours was used, like, it could happen today. Well, and then it was yeah. another two months after that that Jim Ratcliffe was announced. So it didn't happen today and it didn't happen then, but <laughs> for them. But it's weird to me that this, for me, feels like maybe the money was there, but if you look at what the bid actually seemed like it was, which was 
you know, probably money coming from the, the royal family or the government, which they sort of always denied that it was, but it seemed like it must be because of... Well, this is the thing. It, so I, I said this at the time because the, the only reports that were out there, I think that this was like sort of outlined in The Athletic. It does sound like their thing to actually yeah. drill into things really rather than just, I don't know, pulling a tweet up. Um, but I'm pretty sure what I read was that the... It was through the 9-2 group, yeah. which was a group of wealthy individuals uh, of which Sheikh Jassim was meant to be the head of, and they'd all sort of flung it in a pot. He might have flung in a bit more than some of the others, but uh, roughly that was kind of what the supposed makeup of it was. Now, you could believe or disbelieve that and think that that was just some company that the government had set up to put their own money into it. Now, we'll probably never know the truth of it, but that was what was reported at the yeah. time. It's always also like, is they had to deal with like, they were dealing with the class A and class B shares very differently. Whereas yeah. Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos's bid honored those with the same Yeah, price. they're paying the same for And the each fact share. that they didn't, it was like they didn't understand, you know, you know, with Newcastle and with Man City, oh yeah, we've got five billion, all right, Sam, we'll take it. There's no New York Stock Exchange I have to deal with. There's not all of that kind of mess as well. And I think it, probably was a lot more difficult for them to do than it would have been Newcastle to be bought or something like that. And therefore, they've probably just gone, these lot are asking too much information. <laughs> uh, <or> maybe <laughs> not, asking, we can't do that. We've, we've the the worrying thing people, with yeah. the way this has sort of all <laughs> shook itself out, though, is the fact that there, there was um, PR and spin going out that was not true. Yeah. That's the worrying thing about this, because yeah. like if if they'd have come out and they'd have put things out there that had have been accurate, that had have been correct, and it had have failed, well, that's one thing. Yeah. But then, with hindsight, when you go, it was already lying to us, because yeah. that's ultimately you go yeah. they, they inflated it, they, they lied. You can call it PR, but PR is just a nice word for lying. Yeah. It? So they fucking lied to instance. us. What's to say that they don't continue to lie to us if they'd have took over the club? We have no idea. Like, so I think, you know, hindsight's obviously a twice. I never wanted to be owned by a state, even a state. And I said, look, we might have to try and fucking have a bit of copium here by yeah. pretending that the 9 2 foundation <laughs> is completely separate from the country. Well, let's be real. Well, like Newcastle fans are. Yeah, we probably, we all kind of know the truth here. Um, that might have just been what we had to do to cope with the fucking fact that we were now owned by a state. Um, actually, there are was, a lot of people that don't care about that. Like, yeah, you know about like the state do, thing. Do you know why? Like, you get it. Why? Like I, I do. I'm in your boat. I hate the thought of Manchester United being state-owned, tool, um, and like a puppet for whatever they want to do. But a lot of people just don't care anymore. It's like I think football has just made people just. Yeah. But this like, isn't they're new. They're doing it. They're doing yeah, it. They're doing it. Why don't we do it? This isn't new because if you look back at, at 1998, 1999, when we were linked with um, and bidded. Officially, it was only the Monopolies and Mergers Commission which stopped the Rupert Murdoch bid actually going through. It had been agreed, hadn't it? Like, yeah, but, you know, the, buy yeah they agreed on the. the, the, uh, the is it 360 million or something like that? No, I think it was more like six was it? by the end. Yeah, the, I mean, whatever their initial offer was, they fucking judged them up. 600, you mean, not six? six yeah. 600 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they, they ended up Just going for like the, the share price that they eventually shook hands on was double what the trading price was. Yeah. Which is, is madness. So obviously, you go in and try and do a hostile takeover there's going to be a premium paid on top of the actual price because you're trying to take it off the market but they, they I think they've gone like nearly double might have even been more but either way the point I was trying to make is um, in Musa at the time which was the precursor to must because they couldn't be called independent shareholders united no more um, or was it when shareholders united the first thing. It was either shareholders united or independent Manchester United shareholders association. Emusa yeah. or whichever shareholders yeah. united, whichever one it was. There was also one which was called fucking hell greed. There was loads of like yeah. mad acronyms that was all yeah. like anti fucking greed. Was it Summit Rupert Murdoch? Like whatever it was. Um, but there was loads of really funky acronyms uh, as people set up like different fucking people's front of Judea and all that shit that went on. So they. Emusha or Sheryl's United tried to get a boycott going of one of the games in the 90s and they were handing out flyers and leaflets and this, that and the other and no one really gave a fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, it was weird. I mean, all right, this is at a time where we didn't know it was going to be the treble season but until the end of the season. But, you know, we would, we'd just lost to Arsenal. Arsenal had just won a double. It was pretty good, but it wasn't perfect at the time. It wasn't all rosy. And at the t I think... 
Martin Edwards had just tried to sell to Robert Maxwell in the 80s. There was Robert Maxwell and Michael Knighton thing at the similar times, weren't there? Then Michael Knighton, which obviously would have been flawless successful. Uh, yeah. And then they had the Beast Guy B yeah. bid in, in 98. So people were fucking not having it with mm. Martin Edwards constantly trying to sell the club to somebody else. We fucking got that one wrong, I think. Mm. Um, but the, the Rupert Murdoch bid, like the amount of people like, shareholders United and, and Amusa were, were so fucking dead against it. And really interesting that the, the government got involved at the time. So Alex Ferguson's a big Labour proponent uh, and was at the time and was quite close to, I think, like Tony Blair and things like that at the time. People outside of the everybody else were looking at it and going, there's no way Labour will stop this because of what it means to Manchester United. They won't almost go against Fergie. They thought Fergie had the, the pull even in the political game because of how big Manchester United was. But not only that, also Rupert Murdoch re led and owned a lot of the newspapers that had helped get Labour elected. <laughs> so everyone was like, well, this is fucked. Yeah. And this is absolutely a million percent going to go he through. He owned Sky at that point as well, Yeah, he? and he owned Sky. And then they blocked it. Yeah. But the point I was trying to make is even back then, even with all of the warning signs at the time, and there was a, quite a few warning signs at the time, no one give a fuck, or the vast majority of the match going fans mm -hmm. didn't really give a fuck. They just wanted mm -hmm. to go to match and then go home. Yeah, you know, and there was um, it's probably there down was, though to a lack of of knowledge in it at that point. Like it's nowadays, everything's online, right? You see a it, TikTok. Or there was, there's it's easier to bring people into something. I think a campaign could go more viral quicker now. Yeah, but yeah, even yeah. like there was a lot. You know, the fanzines was doing their bit at the time. It was yeah. in all of the the, <laughs> the the red tops, especially maybe not the ones owned by Murdoch, but the, it was in the red tops. Like, uh, it, you know, it, who did he own? He owned the Sun and the Mail, News of the World, nah, um, News of the World, yeah, News of the World. Obviously, uh, it's been rebranded. So I'm pretty Telegram. sure the likes of the Mirror. Yeah. Just as they would, just to be just to be fucking different, we're giving you all of the reasons why this can't go through. Yeah, yeah. If he's giving you all the reasons why it should, but I think the Sun and that actually stayed fairly neutral and didn't use right. their own weight to sort of help push it through. Re it really fucking fascinating shock. time that isn't really spoken about and discussed anywhere near as much as it should be, because of what it ended up leading to with the Glazers and the shit show we've had for the last eighteen years. Um, but you know, we they tried to do that to protect the integrity of the Premier League, and then fucking three years later. Allow Roman Abramovich and, yeah, and it's then bizarre how they just sort of abandon that yeah. and the sort of directors, the fit and proper persons and all that is just like do you know that meme of the guy the uh, the security who's just like not even touching you? Yeah, that's the fit and proper person thing now, and you just oh yeah, oh, you ain't got anything on you. Yeah, go in. But anyone anyone can own look a at, club. Look at what happened. And literally at anyone. Portsmouth. How many owners did they go through? In that like a season? dozen or something. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? And none of them had any money. Mm -hmm. Hasn't the guy that was about to buy Sheffield United just been found out for fraud? Or something yeah, like that? just I mean, making and, it up. And even look now, at the, the, and obviously I don't know the full details don't exist publicly. But the the Adam Crafton stuff about the the guy who's at one of the mm -hmm. CEOs of Newcastle, who's linked to a potential anywhere as far as abducting people for political gain. Well, everyone knew like, that they were linked to the that game. But, but that's what I'm saying. But, okay. No, no, it's like they, yeah. well, they somehow got away with it. Is that a crime, it. is it, nowadays? Oh, yeah. we're, not, we're not linked to the government. <laughs> abducting <laughs> your political opposition. Is that, is that so bad? Oh, no, but like, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, this is the, you know, Game's pe gone. people yeah. of that nature are owning football clubs. 2024 is upon us, and that means a packed schedule of FA Cup, AFCON, Asian Cup, and of course, the Premier League as well. Beat the January Blues by giving every game the atmosphere it deserves down at your local Green King Sport pub. Don't settle for a dodgy stream. If it's on the telly, it's on in glorious 4K HD at your local Green King Sport pub. If you download the Green King Sport app, you'll also receive 10% off every drink when there's a game on. And the best bit as well is their venues offer loads of low and no alcohol options. So if you're doing dry jan, you don't have to sacrifice the sports watching experience. Make sure you go and check out your local Green King Sport pub. Download the app now. Who's the worst football owner? And obviously I was like, the fucking Glazers. The, but like... It's got to be some of the Portsmouth stuff. Oh, what about Frank Sinatra? Remember so, Vincent Tan? Frank Sinatra's literally done for human rights abuses. One like, yeah, he's joke. got he's got to be. Yeah. He's, 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 he's qualified yeah. for the Champions League at, yeah. at least. I don't even know about that. Yeah, he's the one that led to Vincent Tan was coming in because he went in. He was like, blue shirts. Fuck that. Yeah. I want red. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll leave a bit of red yeah. on the badge. Fucking hell. Because I think, if, was it in Chinese culture, red's yeah, lucky. lucky. Yeah, okay. uh, but he was like, yeah, blue. He was, bad, he was 20 joke, minutes right. away from picking himself. I swear. Yeah. Yeah. He he appointed was, nah, his son, is his son, do you remember? His son he rejected in so it. many oh. jobs. Yeah. yeah, do you know why? And then he went and took wow, that one. That was crazy. That was Fergie's old enough to know as well. Did it? 
The, the Wednesday one's a bit silly. It's not as bad as that, but he's... Um, I think he, he owns John West Tuna or he owns a big <laughs> tuna brand. But basically, he bought Hillsborough off Wednesday yeah. t to give the club money. But now, Sheffield Wednesday don't own their own stadium. Yeah. So if he ever sells the club, he doesn't have to sell the, the ground with it. And also, his son, who is was when he first started, about 14, yeah. is one of the directors of football. That's and like, he will like, meet new managers and stuff off the plane. It's like this child. He's guy just guy doing like business shit. He's the guy, he's the guy at Blackpool. I think he's is older it, now. Carl Oyster. He yeah, did that. Uh, back in the day. He did that, didn't he? Oh, no, Sunday. Did he buy he, it for a pound? He bought, he, f he found out like they wanted to buy the car park that was part of Bloomfield Road, like a hotel company. So he sold the car park to himself and then sold it to the hotel company. So the club didn't get any of the money, he got it all. Insane. Like, it was mad, didn't you think? Like, obviously, at a top level, I don't think there's been any as bad as the Blazers, certainly in the last sort of in the, the modern era for a top, top team. Well, they, don't some know, people, they haven't killed anyone that we know of. Yeah, and yeah. some people are literally like, Selling the club to make their so own money Roland and putting the club bankrupt. Yeah, yeah, he, he was he real bad. Board. He was, and he's like, I think he sold the club to some dodgy geezers for like a quid, <laughs> but separated it from the stadium and the training. Yeah, yeah. they always like, do that, don't they? Stripping out. Like, that's you know not part of the club. You know what's interesting? That's mad. What about the club? The name. You know the fella? At, um, who was the fella recently at Everton? Interestingly, Jim White gets firmly up all their asses. Have you noticed that? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. All these bad owners. He's right up their ass, like just proper sucking them off. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It metaphorically is speaking. Have no, you no, seen no, I think literally the, metaphorically. The, the, the sad thing about the Qatar thing, though, Jim White loves a boot to The me. amount of people who were just so pro Qatar. There's, yeah. there's different between going, okay, this might be good for the club, this might not be, whatever. But there's people like, if you weren't pro Qatar, you accused of being racist. If you wanted Jim Ratcliffe, you didn't I care about the club. That. You're in the pocket of the Glazers and all this other. You are racist, so. Yeah, well, that's different for you. I know, but the thing but is, <laughs> for all, no, some of them, that, is, that <laughs> accusation yeah. hurts. Yeah. But it was like, it got, it got so toxic. Yeah, and even at the even at the game, it wasn't just online. No. Do you remember like there was people at matches and stuff who had pro like yeah. shake to see banners and stuff, and you're like, what are you doing? And also that then I don't I'm not saying it hurt the players and all that. I don't think that's a fair excuse. But the sort of the level of kind of frothed up sort of aggro that came from this back and forth between yeah. Qatar and Ratcliffe didn't help anything really, did it? It became sort of weirdly anti Ratcliffe rather than pro Qatar. Yeah, yeah. It became a massive problem with like... You've been on the internet, right? Yeah, exactly. But, that's what, but, <laughs> but it, it doesn't weird, help and it's all based like on this sort of house of cards. A year earlier, Ratcliffe was this. He so. was the yeah. saviour, wasn't he? Yeah. Everyone loved him. <laughs> get <laughs> Sir Jim in. We love Sir Jim. It's like, boo, we hate Sir Jim. Get, get <laughs> Qatar in, get Shane to see me. If Ratcliffe had just bought 25% of the club, yeah, and there was not even that fucking mad Icelandish guy. That he was ace, wasn't he? He, he, he well oh, I forgot about him. He well, everyone did, yeah. including the Glazers. He was like, listen, I've worked it out. We've got 20 billion fans. So, it's <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. quick maths. If everyone puts and in a 50p. Like that, yeah. If everyone in the known universe puts in a fraction of a fucking coin, All we need is three times the population yeah. of Earth to bang a quid in. Yeah. And we'll do it. Like, it's easy, easy man. It's easy. Bro, it's bad gear when you can't even get an interview in most of the fan channels. They were like, like, nah, you know, like do you remember? We were like, nah, we're good. <laughs> I've been looking at your maths. <laughs> it's a straight E. You got into me. a little thing with Michael Knight, didn't you? <laughs> a little thing. A little, that, Michael Knight dedicated his old channel to Yeah, Michael Knight, Knight started a channel for him. Old Trafford. Yeah, Michael Knight. Do you ever think you'd get into an argument with that fella? No. That's not that, innit? I also never thought he would threaten to sue me either, which he did. Which I'm still waiting for, you fucking shit out. So hurry up and do it, eh? Um, time's money. He's going to see for that now. For what? <laughs> Saying that. Do you, know what I love? do you know what I love about it as well when all the Ratcliffe thing happened? Is how Michael Knight like, actually like, he made that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can, I, don't, if I, I identified ever, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. <laughs> yeah. If what? I ever sit what? down, like we've not been already, we've not been already looking at him Man for United fucking decades. United level in that though. Yeah. We've identified a really underground, difficult to find Who's target. That? Secret guy. Britain's richest person. Yeah. Who's, like a fan. Fan. Yeah. Who's from, from Manchester yeah. and a United fan. Yeah. The same team who brought you Don't Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's though. been out there doing interviews about United for the last 20 years. Uh, <laughs> He's well so underground. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> who oh, knows where I come up with these people from, eh? <laughs> so, yeah. so, the same guy that definitely didn't... What's the... Like, I, I, have this, I have to get this right. I have to get this right because this is what he sues on. The guy that definitely didn't make himself manager at Carlisle a few times times and definitely didn't do a whole thing where he talked about aliens that he genuinely like no, aliens are real no but i do a whole thing <laughs> no, with ash where ash talked about aliens yeah. but there's levels to this game and uh someone's out there in front of the crazy stuff. hang on a minute i'm beginning to like this guy 
Yeah. Yeah. So like, what does yeah, you are. You are. What so he, he puts Ten Hag off and turns up on the bench, not managing the team. Yeah, but he sounds. He sounds pretty good. Oh, he'd be entertaining. entertaining. We'd have so much content. Yeah, you got. We no would money. absolutely fucking obliterate with content, and I'd be getting sued every week, and it'd be brilliant. Well, or, or not. Listen, you can't argue with anyone who's had their art hanging in the Royal Society. Today. Come on, you know that better than anyone. <laughs> Had his ass hanging work. Exactly. <laughs> what did you say? Sure. I missed that. Was you in the room when he phoned me up? No, but I wrote down what he told me. <laughs> It was in, there was someone in the room with me when he told me, and I immediately wrote it down. I went, "This is gold." Are you serious? He went, "Yeah, this is what he said." I'm writing this down. So <laughs> <laughs> got it on my phone. Have you really? Yeah, I love that. Just got absolute notes on it. So, do you think this is going to change the the sort of public opinion of Sheikh Jassim and therefore Jim Ratcliffe, or do you think it's maybe? Just going but to be like, the reason that I think this might, the reason I'm questioning where this has come from is because the timing of it is really interesting. It might just be like someone was trying to dig into this and, and it was gonna come out in the wash at, at least anyway. But the fact that it's very, very convenient to go that that, that, that bid was a load of bollocks actually. I, I, I question the timing is of it. Is it not the out. SEC filing though? Is that not like why maybe, this all maybe. come out? Because this had to come out now because of all the financial but would they have I don't know, that's what I'm asking. So. But that's does it why. require, like, does it, the losing the, bids require Yeah, because I think seen? it says bidder A, which everyone knows is shades of C, right. failed to, or well, whatever, mm. which is why this is, that's what I think. Okay, well, reason, I don't know yeah, about it. But Do I don't, you think people are going to sort of come out of this going, actually, Jim Ratcliffe was seemingly more sort of transparent and was the only one who ever tabled a bid that was actually I think likely to we know, do, the, take the, any power from the The trouble blazers. is, Michael Knight the trouble is that's money that's was pledged though. If people <laughs> think with common sense, right? Right. And most of these people that had already put the Qatar flag in their name on Twitter and yeah. <laughs> gone all that, that way, they've that. gone too far to turn back. Yeah, you know some I mean? of them are still going. Yeah, some of them are still like they've just deleted you know, their yeah. prod surging rat yeah. tweets from before the Qatar. This thing. this shows you there's going to be an eleventh hour bid. Yeah, but it scene. could. I think we. Yeah, you know, a lot of. But people. there's a couple of black, obvious black accounts that are still. Still. I love it. Moment I love tweeting. that. Actually, what you seen in the papers? That's all about it. But I think <laughs> we we <laughs> bought it. The main thing for Rim, Jim Got Ratcliffe. Keys. Rim, 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 Rim Jackliff. Rim Jackliff. <laughs> What's the main thing about Jim Ratcliffe? Great is, Twitter name. Um, <laughs> you could uh, get, make that. Um, the main thing with Jim Ratcliffe is <laughs> I've been Lance. impressed with how, and it's easy stuff in it that any owner should do. Yeah. So it's like you know that Chris Rock joke that like, I take care of my kid. Oh, yeah, you're supposed yeah, to yeah. take care. Why are you boasting? Yeah. But like, it does. Yeah. We've had an absent father for when he's going to meet years. people at the training yeah. ground, going to meet Kathy, going to meet all the staff, saying things the, like the, we want to win trophies, and we're going, oh my god, yes. <laughs> Analyzing like you know the staff numbers, everything. I think what we're going to see over the next couple of months is loads of people get sacked. Yeah. And everyone's going to go, they're cutting costs. Oh shit, what's happening? Like, is this a bad thing? And then I think we'll build again. Yeah. But I do, I, I have been impressed by that. You know, just doing the easy things, going to meet with Most as well. I know Most get a lot of stick about things, but they are often a voice for Man United fans and, mm. you know, whatever. And for, the, for him to go and meet them, even though it could just be empty, hollow words, yeah. it's still refreshing to see that kind of. Well, it's the effort. You know, yeah. We didn't get any effort. Like, literally, yeah. like, yeah. You're talking about he's doing level one shit, but we didn't <laughs> even even have level one no, shit for 18 didn't. years. Nothing. They literally would absent Do you reckon parents. you Joel and that had ever met Kathy on reception? I, I reckon they don't even know what reception is. I reckon yeah. if they walked in there, they'd walk past. They probably met. Yeah, you know they I mean? probably. They do what they did to me and him without knowing they've met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They do what they did to me and him in the fucking uh, in a MetLife center. Yeah. Just fucking. Yeah, but whew, I'd just whiz walk past, past <laughs> both of you very quickly. <laughs> no, no, you won't. Um, I do think as well, it's good to see that. Spotted Darcy. Yeah. What level of Darcy? Darcy. Yeah. He follows me on Instagram. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. You went. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy Glazer. By the time Darcy. Darcy. By the time our phones connected, and we went. Yeah. Because I'd be like. She, is she on TV? I recognise her. Like, yeah. I reckon. But yeah. Oh, she's in we, Dallas! Yeah. <laughs> is that no, Dolly Parton? Is that What's Dolly going on? Parton? And then, oh no! When the gun, I go, fuck, it's Darcy! It's Darcy. Darcy. Yeah. That was good. Um, I mean, obviously, didn't get anything out of it, but. Should have banged Joe. No, that's not an option. Why? Um, <laughs> listen, 3D chess. It, that is. Okay, how many Make her fall in love. Sing sweet nothings in her ear. But she only earns about 11%. What are we going to do with yeah. that? Ah, listen, listen, is that? Because oh, then he gets, you, he gets you invited to Christmas dinner. Uh, and then you play roulette or blackjack for 
Joel, put your money where your mouth is. My 11%, yeah. mine and Darcy's 11%. <laughs> up against your 11%. Darcy and I. What are we doing? My then black the shit out of him. Now you're 22%, Joe. That's true. Sweet. Has, hasn't Darcy Bring sold, Yavi in here, the fucking sold her fraud. bit, though. What? what? Hasn't Darcy Has sold, sold her bit? Isn't it just Avram and Joel that? No, Don't no, spoil no, the fantasy. No, there's, there's another one as well. There's like Francis and like Ludacris and all that. There's yeah, there's loads. Loads. Really. Luda? <laughs> yeah. <there's>, <laughs> Cat <laughs> Williams is talking about him. Yeah. Cat Williams owns 4%. Like, no, there's about six different. I think there's four or five different brothers, like a Daryl. Or there's like a Rob, a, no way does a Daryl Glazer. There's not a Daryl Glazer. There's literally Jackie. two of them, or three if you're him, that you could identify in the entire yeah, world. Avram Joel. One of them Darcy. could be sat behind the camera there. I don't have a fucking. Is there a Robert? Oh, I made that up. There's a John. Because I always made like, there a Trevor. There's a John F. Glazer. John F. What? What? <laughs> Really? No. no. <laughs> really? Nah, because American <laughs> woman. <laughs> oh yeah, I call my son John F. Hey, a Robert. Is, is there a Trevor? Trevor. Um, that sounds familiar. Yeah. So there's Brian, Brian, isn't there? That's the one we're thinking. Brian. Of. Brian, yeah. not Robert. Fucking Brian. Uh, Edward, Kevin, of course. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, big Kev. Yeah. Um, you get 11% out of Kev. Yeah, easily. <laughs> Easily, Kevin Kev would fucking. He it, falls straight away. Him. He's got no spine. You know what? Some of them want to sell as well. Yeah, so they probably hate yeah, you. All of them, yeah. apart from the two that we know. Get in their ear. It's like they probably think I'm gonna die soon. Exactly. I need this billion. Fucking let... ponytail baldy face and the geezer that looks like he does far too long on karaoke. Yeah, also, they're the only two that wanted to fucking stick around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're the two oldest as well. You got a whispering dance so here next like... time you see her. Just say you can have that off them too. Don't let them two bully her. I've seen it. I've seen it next week. Ah yeah. Right, we have a word. Listen, here's what you got to sing to her. Christa Burr, Lady in Red. Perfect. Yeah. Boom. See? Yeah, well, I put her in the middle. Steelers out of Wheel Woman. <laughs> yeah. They whip the old boy out. No. Um, what do you mean, no? Well, well I'm not bringing. Do it for the that club, you selfish asshole! <laughs> well, not that old boy, a different old boy. Part uh, of the problem, yeah. She made me watch my old man in the You sink. might as well be a glazer <laughs> if you're not going to help us get him out, Joe. I can't believe the attitude on you. It's fucking yes. disgusting. <laughs> no, see that, bro. I missed that. He only goes, she made me wash my old man in the sink. <laughs> what? You brought your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact like, well, that 1% of you will get that. Is that Max and Paddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah. Phoenix Knight. Phoenix 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 Phoenix. Class. Fantastic. But right. it is Max and Paddy, you yeah. say. Um, should we uh, move on to our second talking point? What's that? Of, of things that aren't happening. You Scotland the Glazers. No. <laughs> oh, what, but can we talk about... Go on. The low performance midfielder who decided to turn oh, up on a podcast. You actually got wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's not just one. He's, he's done so much content this week. Yeah. Oh my God, he's just done about a decade's worth of get that camera on, motherfucker. Mm. Scott McTominay's yeah. been on the high performance podcast. Yeah. That's what you're getting Scotty at. Scotty too hot. With if, uh, if, Jake Humphrey. Humphrey. Yeah, Humphrey they're Humphrey. very similar people, aren't they? They look very similar. Wow. Yeah. They're sort of a similar a sort of <laughs> style. They person. work like, you know, they're very LinkedIn type of fellas, yeah. isn't it? You know, big paragraphs on LinkedIn. You reckon Scotty Too Hot, he goes home and he's like 13K today. Obviously the fastest at the club. Got to work harder than the others. Up before dawn. Hashtag yeah, yeah, inspire. Yeah. But you yeah, know what was yeah. interesting in the clip I seen, because I wouldn't watch a whole interview of either of them. But it's a bit harsh. I, I don't mind Jay Humphries sometimes. <laughs> no, but, but I'm not, Scott I'm not, I thought that was going to go a different way, that sentence. <laughs> Name seven what, times. Do you, would you say you got to a point with Scott McTominay where... Your I don't want to hear him talk about football. Where your dislike for him has become something more oh, than it actually is. No, 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 Joe, no. ask me. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> you've got, you've you got like, full Do you Ashley feel Young like, would Steve? you get angry? I haven't gone Ashley Young with Steve. Because wow. Like, far when up, he no. does all right, I'll go, he's done all right. All right, okay. So you won't get angry if he scored? No, 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 no. that's what you know what you mean. He's like, you know, he's going to get picked again now. I do think that sometimes. That's so you know you really don't like someone. Scott McTominay's never even is, done a fucking in the drive turn in the, in the new camp. A lot, something made a lot of sense to me. Scott McTominay went, I never kicked the ball between 16 and 18. And I thought, 16, 17, 18, three of your most formative years, you never kicked the ball. Brother, we can tell. We, we can that, tell. I mean, we what, can tell. What even is that though? Like, I've not kicked the ball when I was 16, 17, 18. Because he was scared, rotten. What? Like he is now hiding behind it's... people. That can't be real though. No. It can't be true. He genuinely said that. Yeah, but it can't be real. He though. would have been dropped. If he wasn't tall. Michael Knighton said he no, no man. If he wasn't <laughs> tall and like looks physical because it isn't physical. It's good in the air. He's all right. Mr. Sitter the other day, by the way. No, I don't mean it's scoring, I mean like physical oh, defending okay, and yeah. what what clearance has he ever made? Well, you, you don't worry, a, I'll wait. He had oh, I'm, I'm trying to speak. He <laughs> headed a corner away at the weekend. <laughs> if you if you, if you wouldn't mind. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know it's what I mean. It's not yeah. good enough. I, I, I saw him against a League One midfield and he looked pretty he looked good. League One. <laughs> he looked pretty good. He looked like League I found one. his level. You know, 
I just don't get how he's still there. Even he's surprised. He even said in that little clip, right. they could buy someone better than me. And I was like, fucking true, we could. We don't. But we don't. Like, I don't know. It's uh, He's not good enough. I Part don't think he's good enough. For him, though. I don't know. It's not, why, it's, why, not why, why? it's not. It's not his fault that what? we keep. He's still there when he's getting picked. I hate that line. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not his fault. It's not though, is it? No, I agree. It's not Part his fault. He's still at the club. Yeah, exactly. So it's so not my him. fault. When people like, keep saying, "Why do you keep not, going on?" It's not my himself. fault. He's still at the club. But also, is he's most of the times he's played this season. Not every time, because I know there's sometimes you bring people bring him on and you think what. But there's not been loads of better options sat on the bench. Oh, there has. There been, hasn't though. There hasn't because when everyone's fit, he doesn't play. Just so the problem isn't him. that Scott McTominay is, thinks he's so good that he's picking himself because he obviously in. No, it's obviously the, a worry. He does think he's so good, though. We he brought does. Amrabat. He does. And Amrabat's not fucking played. Yeah. That, that's, the manager's got mental baffling to me. No, but also... <laughs> I don't think he has. Because he was up for selling him in the summer, so he knows the level. He knows that he can't take us to a Champions League or a Premier League or even challenging consistently for top four, but he doesn't have the ability to replace it. I saw or a quote as well, like a United report. That's not Scott McTominay's fault. Where he was like, Mourinho had to tell me to calm down and stop like giving it the beginning. It's like, yes, because yeah. you're not very good, bro. <laughs> I think the problem is, Tenag went too far. He got too carried away with the goals against Brentford and thought, right, let's build the team around this guy for about two months. And it didn't work. Other than Chelsea, it just didn't work. You know what's mental as well? We bought Mason Mount for £60 million pound when we could have got him free in May and he's been injured. Well, there's that as well. For six months. Who? Mason Mount. Remember him? Could have got him for free. <sighs> that's, know, well, that's it's not that we're saying this club doesn't make... Bit good decisions. Business, eh? But I wait but for eight months when you can have him for sixty million and is not weird. see him for six months anyway. <laughs> the injury <laughs> one's weird because he's he he wasn't yesterday's players at tomorrow's prices. But then he, today. Began, <laughs> <laughs> he, he started being injury prone for Chelsea today. last season, didn't he? Just carried it on. Yeah, like we thought it'll be all right. He'll fix a that. Forty pound in a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like. I think we all know Scott McTominay is not good enough. He probably deep down knows he's not good enough, but he's there. Uh, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't, bro. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's not. He's got no self awareness. There's a lot of other things. You don't. Going you on. don't want that podcast if you think you're good enough. Mate. But I, d- I, I wouldn't say that. Oh yeah, well, eighth, let me do this podcast. I don't Was think that self awareness is. Necessarily he would have done the podcast. The best, when we're tenth. The best trait for a footballer to have. I don't think self awareness is. Always but you're saying they're like boxers where they have to think they're the best. Yeah, a little bit. I do nah, think nah, that. Nah, I think self-awareness can quite easily turn into insecurity if nah, you have a bad Because I reckon you say stuff to players that are like ten times better than when they think. You said that. <laughs> Yeah, but I, are we being fair on him? No, I think I, like, I don't think so. I we we did an interview with Jesse Lingard. Where Jesse Lingard was getting pelters <laughs> off. We're everyone. not. We, we've done it. We did an interview with Lingard. And Lingard was getting pelters off everyone, and we took grief for sticking up for him. Yeah, and it's like he wanted to get his Jesse point, was a good footballer. He wanted to get his point across. Jesse was a good footballer. And talk about what was going on for him. So it's, with Scott McTominay not have the same. It's right. like when people go to me, oh, why, why do you defend Rashford? Because bro, there's been four and a half seasons of Rashford banging in twenty goals plus thirty goals last season. Yeah. I can see, and he's a good player. All right. There's enough evidence to tell me this geezer stinks. I'm not somebody's biggest fan, but I don't mind him doing a podcast. I don't really care. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Do, do you know what I mean? Podcast. If he wants to do a podcast, I ain't got a problem with that. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't watch it. I'm not that, like, oh, I need to see what he's got to say, especially with Jake Humphreys. But. Oh, what you got against Humphrey? Yeah, what you got with Humphrey? Well, I followed his LinkedIn advice and ended up fucking skinning in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Lefty. You just go for it. Just get <laughs> don't need any qualifications. You don't need to work out. Just he, get he, up and you'll be all right. Elaborate. Well, which ones do you want to say? All these advice is just terrible, isn't it? Whenever I've read it. Give me six examples. Well, my favourite one is where, it's not advice, it's where he posted a picture, picture of, his of his dad commenting on his podcast. Oh, yeah. That was literally like, he'd written it himself. And he's like, he's basically his dad saying, oh, do you know what, son? I was just chatting to your aunt and we were just saying how we didn't know what to do with our lives until we listened to your podcast this morning. Now we do, it's amazing. And, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, thanks, dad. He quoted, the, so you, you don't see the whole chat, but it's obviously a WhatsApp group, right? Yeah. And he's replied to Jake posting the podcast in and it's like hi guys this is a great podcast and high performance I really it think you'd all benefit dad. from it in the family group yeah and the family dad. group my dad, dad would tell me go I don't even interview Canton I'll send it in the family group do you know what I mean yeah. I don't think I've ever posted a fucking single yeah. link and imagine if he screenshotted family. it and then put it online that is insane. Hey. And also, Imagine the phone you know, conversation you're having with your dad after that one shall we <laughs> shall me and you send our dad a link to podcast that's watch, so. And that's print screen them telling us to fuck off. That's, a, that's such an unfair <laughs> thing to do. That like then when someone shows you they're like. I think if I was getting my my, my response from my dad would be, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. Quest- my uh, job, you fucking knobhead. Yeah, maybe, 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 who's this? <laughs> no, but what's this? Who's this? Who's don't, this new knobhead? Don't have this number saved. <laughs> 
fucking hell. <laughs> Hello, you are. How are you? I think uh, my been... other favourite one is when he put a picture of him and his mum. 69 and 69 today. today. Yeah, and one of the replies is, I hope it's a birthday. <laughs> you know what, I mean? <laughs> today. what a day! That's how you really get to know someone yeah. that, isn't it? Just to hit a but big what, One thing I must say, storm basically, if, 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 while we're talking about him, if you regularly post on LinkedIn, Adam Patterson, fuck off. I must say, while we're talking about him, and we're having a laugh about him, he is a very nice person. Who? McTominay. Oh, here we go. Nah, he is. Me and Chris, he looked after me and Chris right, a few times. Right, well, tell us about that then. Be you nice see him buying us into the BT Sport food van and that. See, and now you throw him under the bus and not having a laugh But at his he expense. is a bit cringe sometimes. Yeah. We can say that, isn't it? Go he on. knows. Yeah, he knows. State got, of LinkedIn. If, if, if you, I think he plays on it now, though. I yeah. think that has become his persona. His brand. LinkedIn, I am now. The LinkedIn guy. Yeah, basically, I'm Steve Barber. Have you got something to add to this? What do you mean? You've got a glint in your eye, like you have something you wanted to say. I, I, I love all of them fucking helmets on LinkedIn. Have you seen the guy? <laughs> there's a guy, this isn't a LinkedIn thing, but it's absolutely, he's definitely posted it on his LinkedIn. Uh, he's like, I get up at, I want to say he gets up at like fucking 3.30, in yeah. which case, I would love to know where you live because I will put a fucking OP in on your house and fucking watch you not do the things that you said just for content, right? So he's like, I get up at 3.30 and I'm I'm into the gym. Oh and, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I listen to a guy. fucking book at two times the speed <laughs> yeah. and like for yeah. 20 minutes. But he's a mad part of like two hours of a sh having a shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, You've done all of this yeah. shit. He's like, that's my private time. He's basically saying at 7 a.m. every morning, he's fucking giving his wife the good news. And then he's like in the gym. Then it's my Wait, family time. Right there, that's in there, right? And then, I mean, five minutes. Play, slot. That's a long <laughs> conversation. Five minutes there, two hours shower. Also, when when you look through it, there's no time for transition. It's like in the gym, eight to eight thirty. Eight thirty, I'm at work. Like, <laughs> is, where is, is the gym at your desk? Yeah, because guess what? I got a forty minute yeah. commute, motherfucker. Yeah, what am I doing now? I'm back at the gym. Like, what the where are you fucking tra <laughs> teleporting meal, around yeah. your life? Two hour shower, and then it's like <laughs> two hours. by by. I think he's like by ten a.m. I've crushed you. Yeah, I've no, already no, done. He's going. He's going. So that's. My first day, because he says he doesn't. Like, he has three days. Three every days day. a day. He goes. So the first day is the first six <laughs> hours. Three days goes, a day. So he goes. Every day I'm having three days. You're having one. So by a day in, I've had three. three days by a week a in, three days. <laughs> and by a month, I mean you're nowhere near me. Yeah, I've had three hundred days where you've had uh, fucking hundred. Yeah, but you you know you're having but, a heart attack. But you're also in bed at seven thirty every fucking night, yeah. mate. Because yeah. but do you know what? All of these. Yeah, he fuckers, can't have a beer after eight pm. He'd be fucked. I've done some of these <laughs> where I've gone to like gym yeah. classes and stuff that I've had to get up at five thirty to go and do, and I can do it on the Monday, right? Yeah. By the Tuesday, I'm like, well, that was an hard get up. It's By the fun. Wednesday, I'm not there. Yeah. By the one Champions League game, because obviously we're fucking going to the Champions League game or covering it, yeah. and I'm not finishing words till midnight, I ain't getting up, right? Yeah. So like, it's so fucking hard to do. And not just covering football or even being a football fan and going watching football, good shit does happen at nine and 10 o'clock. Yeah. Like you do have to, like, if you're getting up at six, I'll take that. Yeah. I think my old man gets up at half five and he doesn't go to bed till midnight. He's a weirdo, right? Yeah. But he's done that forever and I know that's his thing. So it's not like he ain't doing it and posting it on LinkedIn. No. He does it. I've, when I was 16, I used to go to work with him. Oh my fucking God. It's literally like an hour five get up, six o'clock leaving the fucking house, seven o'clock on site to sit about for two hours. Why are we doing this? Mr. Traffic. But like, just sit in the traffic. <laughs> like, we yeah. start at nine. We sat anyway. Why don't what we sit in the car? What the fuck are we doing, man? Yeah, but that was his <laughs> thing. And he's done that forever. <laughs> Mr. Traffic. <laughs> sat there on site freezing. Like, he's like a year away from retiring, my dear. So he's, he's I, I'm not going to change him I now. That. He still does that shit now. So. All of these lot that are doing that stuff, where it's like, I mean, Mark Wahlberg's a fucking other one. Yeah, he, he's an. I think he's a two thirty a.m. get up but guy. The thing, but the thing, the thing is though, it's, you it's got all, you gotta do that if you want to get up and run after people. It's, it's all well and good being abuse. like, oh, we get yeah. up at four a.m., <laughs> three a.m., two a.m. <laughs> but you just have to go to bed at six p.m. Yeah, yeah, you're not Wahlberg, right? Because yeah, they're all like, yeah. you get ten hours of sleep a night, wake up at two a.m. You're like, you're going to bed after news round. <laughs> like, what do you mean you can't? You can't have it both. Just go to bed at eleven and wake up at seven. Have you ever like fell asleep when you didn't mean to at like 8 p.m. wake up? It's disgusting. Yeah, it's the yeah, next yeah. day. You feel like you've missed, like you look at the news and it's like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. It all that shit happened. What's going on with the run? Yeah. Yeah, most of the, most, most <laughs> news stories happen between 8 and yeah, 12, it's just, isn't it? It does happen at <laughs> midnight. It's pointless, mate. It's counterproductive. Yeah. How do you even get to bed before <laughs> 11? Yeah. You're, you're all right. You can yeah. get a fucking decent night. We are the opposite of 
LinkedIn pages. We're basically telling you just fuck it. Just all do it. Yeah. Just, can't be, just, just I'll, I'll say to YouTubers. I'll say to you, loads of really fun shit happens between nine, ten, and eleven o'clock at night. And sometimes you can, you know, I'm old now. I ain't doing no four a five a.m. fucking nights out no more. Best Tommy like, tanks happen after midnight. Yeah, allegedly. That's true. That's when the neighbours get changed across the road. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're all them LinkedIn divs, <laughs> of which Jay Conference is their fucking He's the king. He's yeah. the king of it. Um, speaking of the king, can we just talk briefly about, oh, right, about quickly, this? Quickly, yeah, we can quickly do it. I don't think we need we, to We, we don't need to do this. We, we don't need a, to. A what are we talking about Eric for? Well, nice. Well, not this, not, maybe this, this special one, or as he's being called now, the sacked one. Jose Mourinho don't sacked from Roma. Do you know how much he's earned in severance Go pay? Has it got to be about 30 million? Yeah, 94 million euros in severance pay. Shut up. Well, how many jobs? Is that from his, all his jobs? That was Chelsea, Chelsea. number one. Yeah, twice. Uh, Real Chelsea Madrid. Once. Well, it was Chelsea first, then oh, yeah. Real Madrid, then Chelsea again, then us. We gave him 23 they didn't mil. They did have it. Then, was no, he was just left. Uh, and then Spurs gave him 17. Only three mil from Roma, though. Really? Yeah. It's but Nearly a hundred million in please don't that. work for us. It's money. a bizarre thing with Jose now though, because it's a and mixture of what's everyone's, that in 20 years? everyone Yeah. And that's that's, ex crazy, that's right, excluding yeah. the money he actually earned. Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe, he was yeah. actually a pretty good manager for quite a lot of that. <laughs> and and was Joe also, he'd be one of the most. Wage. He'd yeah. be one of the most commercially successful managers as well. Yeah, he had some deals, didn't like, he? Yeah, like top eleven and, that, and all right. that. He does a lot of that yeah. stuff. Serious man. Fair play to him. I, I like Jose. When he, uh, it's one of those things when he's not your manager anymore. Like the first season with Jose is class. Yeah. And then after that, just even that, like you're right because even halfway through that second season when we were near the top, he just started going. But I find it there. mad, like, and I know it's the internet, but like that people are still out there going, "I take Jose." It's like, I well, think, that's the thing. That's I think his reputation at United has grown since he left. Like with some been sacked fans. twice. How though? I don't know how. Because well, people it, because look back at him being outspoken. Because and they look back and they people go like that. In his two full seasons, he won two trophies, not three, because the charity shield don't count, and finished second. Respect. Yeah. Like in his <clears> two full seasons, so people look at that and go, "Well, no one's done anything like that since." Yeah. But we know what happened. He was deliberately sabotaging the team when he was leaving. He fell out with everyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Your boy Scott McTominay was the linchpin of his defence because he wanted to. Yeah, for all the people that are kicking off, going. You need to have because this is a phrase that I see all the time, especially when it's linked with Jose. You need to have higher standards. Therefore, Jose Mourinho. You go, okay. Therefore, Scott McTominay. Yeah. Mm. Because one plus one's equal in two, mate. Did if he you give if him you fuck an award that he created that is, right. United is, will range. absolutely one million percent deny this, but I know this is the truth. And if you go and look at the <laughs> award ceremony where um, Scott McTominay gets Manager's Player of the Year. Yeah. That was a vase that was in someone's office. It was in Wilco or something like that. Well, no, it, it was in the Joe, that glass bit yeah. in front of Old Trafford mm. where the, you can see the offices. We need to find it a was picture in, of the day before the award. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it won't. It won't. I don't yeah. think you'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a dusty rip. Yeah. I don't think you'll see it. Uh, pause what? Don't talk about your mum. <laughs> I don't think you'll see it now, but it was probably just something you couldn't see from the outside, but it was a vase. Go and look at it. Yeah. One, it is not new, and two, it is not a fucking Manchester United yeah. player award trophy. Yeah. And also, that's 100%. when he's on stage getting it, if you could see the crowd, all the players are like. And by the way, that's an award that we've never given before. Or since. Or since. Yeah. And from a very reliable source that worked at United at the time, because he's gone now, hasn't he? Yeah. Um... Mourinho, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> um, he turned up and went, I want to give him so many an award, and everyone went, you want to do what? What for? Why did he want well, to give him an He was annoyed that De Gea was winning an award again, and he looks at his my goalkeeper keeps winning awards. It, it makes me look mad. like a bad manager. So I don't even think he turned up. I think it was literally like, we give, we're giving him an award, so you better find me something. It was as he turned up, oh, like, I got told. He but told me he went, I, I want to give him like, an award, yeah. and they was like, we can't go find him one. So they ran around Old Trafford trying to find someone. Sure, there's a few fucking trophies. Yeah, but about. Can, can we pull it up on the screen so all these lot can see it, please? If you yeah. search Scott have, McTominay, I think it's manager's power. trophy, and you can add it into the edit yeah. as well. But I'm pretty sure. No, it's like that. It's, that, like, it's like a weird, like it's like a lazy ass. Or like he could go give the replica of like the Premier League. We just got that. There you go. So what's this? This is the European Cup. Um, shaped yeah. award for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 
He got given that, like, it was spontaneous. <laughs> Someone's like. bonged that is. That right. used to have it with a single, yeah. daffod a single yeah, plastic there's, daffodil there's, in it, didn't it? More likely, like, yeah. That is just... How funny is that, though? That's good. Listen, that. at the end of the day, Jose Mourinho is absolutely box office. He's just had some mad record where Roma weren't selling shit. They've just sold 40 games out on the yeah. spin with having Jose in. He's been sent off six times. In Here's what Jose years, said when you presented years. him with the award. The dream of every boy that arrives at the club is to play for the first team. The next dream is to play big matches in the Champions League and to play for the national team. This player did this everything in five or six months. So my player of the year has to be he's got the top of it. I mean, we've never right. had that award yeah. before or since. I remember as well that he was slightly hamstrung by the fact that they've not really spent any money in the last three transfer windows. Even the article like, on United's website, Jose names his own player of the year. <laughs> Yeah, nothing to do with us. Like, Jose does his own thing. Like, what? What sort of announcement? On is one that? hand, I absolutely adore that, though. Yeah. Just that, the anarchist side of me just fucking thinks, yeah, yeah the chaos that I he I think brought. some of the things he's done. He had two runners for it as well, because Jose revealed, I was doubting it between him and Matic. <laughs> <laughs> On his way in, he's in his car and on the way in like that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that yeah. makes it How do I make this award ceremony yeah. all about me? He just so <laughs> Let me think. Yeah, some uh, of the yeah. stuff he's done though is only he could do, I think. Like what he did with Porto, what he did with Inter. I can't see, I, I can't think of another one of this generation of managers that, especially the Inter stuff. No. I can't see anyone else doing that. The, the Porto stuff especially as well. Yeah. Inter you know, had a, a pretty expensively assembled side still. Not compared to some of the teams it beat, but it, and know. they were getting on a bit as well, though, weren't they? And uh, oh, do you want to know it's an amazing fact? Milito that season, I think he was 31-32. Um, in the, I think in the last ten games of the Serie A season, he scored seven goals. He scored in the quarterfinal, the semi-final, and the final of the Champions League. He scored in the semi-final and the final of the uh, Italian Cup as well. Won the treble and played, I think, something like 60 minutes in the World Cup. The um, same Mar summer Maradona, Maradona as manager. Was and he was but what crazy. a fucking clutch season that is. He scored quarter yeah, final, well, final, well, final. Two, two in back the final. To back. Wesley Schneider was the best player on a fucking planet you know that year as well. He could yeah. do no wrong. We'll, 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 we'll get him. He, he nearly won Ballon d'Or in any day. He, no, he should have won Ballon d'Or. But Eto that, that season and the season before. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Because there's been a bit of a debate about who the best African player is and people have been talking about Yaya's and your George Weyers and all that. Drogba. For me, it has to be Eto. It has to be, yeah. In terms of uh, back to back treble. Uh, 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 so and Yaya Toure, I'll take you, but I'm not yeah. really going to fight you for either. Drogba's yeah, up there as well. Got Mo Salah, though, is going to Mo Salah yeah. with a shout, sadly. Yeah. Yeah. So but I would, put, I would still put Eto ahead of Salah. Against uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. Because Ronaldinho had a stink if you watched that game, but. Do you remember Henri after the game when he was going? It wasn't Ronaldinho, it wasn't Eto, it was Henry Larson that beat us. Yes. The king. He was very bitter after that, was Henri. Wasn't he? Yeah. That's why he left Arsenal to win a Champions League. Went to, win to, to win a Champions yeah. League, yeah. Did he, he won a treble as well, didn't he? No, no, he was. I'm reading it, no. Was he not at the nah. treble side? He won a Champions League, though, didn't he? he yeah, he definitely won the Champions League there, yeah. 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 Play against us, didn't he? Come on, against us. Did yeah. fuck off, who cares? Um, <laughs> I've got a question for you. Where Go does on. Jose go next? Yeah, that's the question. But, isn't it? Let's get it out of it. The rumours are he rejected United, Portugal, right? Because he's burned all his bridges there. He, he See, rejected Portugal while he was at Roma. He rejected Saudi Arabia while he was there. I. I think he could end up in Saudi or working for the Saudis. I got, I got, can I make a play here? Newcastle. I got some. I got one put on the table. Okay, I've got one that I want to put on the table. You put yours on the table. Cause I've got okay. a couple. I think you both got the same one. Whatever it takes. All right, no, make haven't. him the next England manager. It's one of my takes. Oh, honestly, right, honestly, he would win as a. I think that ship sailed. But I what? think that is a yeah. fantastic See, thing. To I, think. I, I agree with already. what he said. I said that many years ago, but who, I think. Who did you say for him now? Um, Newcastle or a team yeah. in Saudi Arabia. The right. Newcastle one feels. Newcastle, you've doable. got the Bobby. Hedy Howe's going to be gone soon. The Bo B Bobby Robson connection, and he would just come out because he's he's crafty. So he would come <laughs> out and be like, "So Bobby told me one day, Jose, you will manage Newcastle, right? I, whether that's yeah. factual or made up on the fucking spot. That sounds like the sort of thing you'd say. Yep, I, I can see that. To yeah. me. he just sent me a text. It's like Dalboy with his mum. Yeah. How many things she said? Yeah. Yeah. She <laughs> said, make sure Ronnie goes to the shop for you. <laughs> every team, every team took us. So Bobby. <laughs> Yeah, told me we're going to win the, this game. He's got the what? connection there. I think Chelsea's not out of the realms of possibility. I don't think he is. He can't go Chelsea three point. Okay, but he can. He can. He's but won the league both times. Rory wants it. It's mental. See, the fans want does. him. Todd Burley. Oh, no, Todd Burley took Rory Lampard back. It. Let's not say. Yeah, well, it's Rory. Well, Todd Burley was like ready to give. No, but it's gave like, Lampard. You know when you top, have him back the second time and it fails, you think all right? Didn't he won the title, didn't he? No, but I'd love a failure like that a minute. It still ended the way it ended, right? 
Yeah. You think, oh, maybe not again. New owner, though. Mm. New owner, new me. But I think England, England's you look at the England. fucking England. absolute England. fucking yeah, ready salted level fucking crisp eating prick that they've got now. You think Jose Mourinho, wh where does it fall for Jose, current iteration of Jose Mourinho? He burns these fucking players' minds out because everything, everyone's against us, everyone's a fucking what conspiracy. About Brazil? I ain't finished it was with England. With Ancelotti. So, Brazil. yeah, they were. Um, but you think. With that talented group of players, someone that can just fucking close ranks on everyone, it's us against the world, yeah, lads. Yeah, yeah. For six or seven games, he brings home the bacon. Yeah. Million he, percent. Because he, he lets you play I, enough to win the easy games, or easy games. Yeah. But the motivation and the discipline and the, the find a way and the forehead to forehead fucking screaming to beat a, a France or a Brazil or a, a Portugal in a semi final. Jose, there aren't many better managers ever than Jose Mourinho. He's great that. at that sort of stuff. He's great defensively as well at those sorts yeah. of games. Yeah, on and you need that. Shutting up They're one on a France, single goal. Or a Germany usually. or whatever. Yeah. Or a, well, you know, a better team in Germany now, like Argentina or whatever. The only things I just don't think the FA would have him. No. I the, think that they've had it so easy, haven't they? Yeah, Southgate. Southgate's beige. He does yeah. as he's told. He do, he's inoffensive. Imagine he probably the press conferences them. with Jose as oh, England manager. But imagine, imagine the meetings when he's like with the FA and they're like, can you just tell us talk us through your decisions? He's like, no. <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah. I'm Peter Tim. Do what I want. Do you know what I mean? They'll just never have it, will they? No, they'll never have it because that requires a set of bollocks. And, and also, got a set of bollocks. Rashford don't get another England cap if that. <laughs> Maybe it's not for the best. Although that's good for United. No, so I, 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 you know what? You know, I, I think we kind of look from the outside in, but I think a lot of players. I think if you ask Rashford, I think he said he loved playing with Marino. Yeah, maybe. I think Jesse was one that said he always loved playing. For, I think it, bu it burned. He burns players out, but weirdly, mm -hmm. a lot of them still love him. Yeah, he's a lovable guy, though, isn't he? And it's like he just is. Lingard and, and Rashford have had their best moments under him. If you think about it, I think attacking wise, a lot of the attackers said he just. I know the FA it. Cup moment for yeah. Lingard was. Yeah, because all he gives a fuck about his defense. Yeah, he let the attackers get on with it, and his defense he focuses on, which if you're an attacker, it's kind of what you want to wear, isn't it? Yeah. Should we wrap it up there, my friend? Well, I'd love to play for Mourinho, though. Sorry to just say. You know, any no, manager, right. like, if you could play for them. Yeah. I'd love, after Stephen Houghton, obviously, I'd love to you play You played for Stephen Houghton, haven't you? Yeah, so you can sit that one too on your bucket list. Week. I'd love to play for Like, hey. I think Mr. he'd get me going. He'd get me going. Go. <laughs> yeah, he says it was blocked. Mourinho gets me going. It's only on video, so. Mourinho, Mourinho would really get me going. Yeah, as a yeah. manager. You know he what missed mean? it. Me fucking son missed it and all. Like, who, who would you want us to be managed by? I mean, obviously, Sir Alex, but yeah, Joe. No, no, but you definitely can't say Joseph. Sir Alex. Man. Matt Busby. Definitely Joe. I just sit there looking at him like that. <laughs> yeah, Joe's here for me. <laughs> Easy. Just, you'd just be crying. Crying your eyes out with every team talk. Just some. I don't know about what Jose's on the table. I, I think I'd, I'd, I'd like that tough love. Yeah, me yeah. too. I hate you. All right, boss, love you. Brian Clough. <laughs> yeah. Brian you'd Clough. Lampard, wouldn't you? No, I'd want Southgate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, when he said to you, like, you're playing defence, you go, no, I'm not. And all he right, go, all right, where do you want to play? Okay, where do you want to play? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, you dick. I'm playing now, all right, okay. Give me that fucking waistcoat. Yeah. And all. Ollie would have been yeah. fun. Because it seems like, <laughs> seems like you could turn up for late for yeah. training. So late for training, get sent off, he'll still yeah, high five you. Yeah, yeah, it was just like, you're busy. It was, it used to say, someone was talking about Mario Basler, and he was talking about disciplining players for turning up late, and he went, Mar look, Mario Basler, never on time once in his life, but he was the game changer, and we allowed it. I don't know. It's, I don't There's know a lot of players like that. I would have hated that name if we never won that game. Oh, mate. <laughs> you, know, you know, imagine yeah. like the that Mario. Imagine being like, him. Fuck off, Steve. Imagine being him. Love like Matthias. <laughs> hey, do you know what I mean? Another I mean, one watching it took oh, off as well. Horrible. Lovely. Right, Never that's going to be all from us. Thank you again to Green King Sport for sponsoring the show. Make sure you go and check them out. This has been off the bar. We'll see you in a bit.